how I made this booklet. I'm going to show you how I did that. So here is the paper. This is the paper that I used. Not enough room over here. So it's an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. And then what we're going to do is we're going to just fold it up and make a pocket. So you can kind of eyeball it and see where you want to, how far you want to go up. And then you just crease it. And then you're going to fold it in half this way. And you could also make it, if you wanted to make a skinnier pocket and have it fold in, you could do that too. But I just did a simple little fold in half with the paper. pretty this paper. Oh my goodness, I love it. And then you're just going to glue down the side over here. I left the middle open. You can glue it if you want, but I just don't think it's necessary, so I just left it. And then this is the sheet I'm using for the inside of this pocket. And we'll just cut this out. So this is what the envelope looks like. Hopefully this comes out good. She did a good job though of creating this because it's super easy. Okay, and then I see I got a little bit of black right there. I gotta fix that. Let me fix that. You want to go ink all this up? You can, but for now I'm just going to glue it together. quick little show how to do it. And then what I did with this is I just attached it to the edge of this. Actually, I went up a little bit. That one was a little bit. This one here I didn't go up as far so you can see there's like a little bit here and a little bit here. This one here I went up enough and it just made it exactly. How about that? I love it. That was no measuring too. <laughs> so we're just going to glue it down. blends so well with this picture. So because I guess I picked the same, you know, color theme all the way through, it really made it work out. Let me just cut this right here off. We'll make this another pocket.
I will glue this back right here. You guys are probably laughing at me right now. It seems like I'm all over the place. So that goes like that. And this will just glue down. like that. So this will go here and we'll glue this on. We could have a pocket here. This is what it would look like. I do like the texture of the envelope and I do like that you can have more spots for journaling right in here. straight a little bit straight anyway so that it's on this thing okay so you got a pocket now So we'll flip this over and we'll make this a cute little pocket here. Turned out super cute, right? So now we have our crunchy pocket here can journal on the back. So we have this pocket here. So look how cute the tag is hanging out of that. Let's see. You got your tag. That big tag fits in this nicely. There's even some room left. Cool. I like it. And then let's see what else. I don't think I have any ephemera that's tiny, tiny stuff. But you could put, oh, that's cute there too. So you could put like a tag here, put a tag there, and then you have a pocket there. A pocket there, and you also have a pocket here. Yeah, so whatever you want to put inside the pocket, right? All kinds of fun stuff with this kit to put in there. So, that is a quick little craft with me on putting this little crunchy booklet together and attaching it with this envelope, making a pocket, and then making another little booklet here. Totally different uh, concept than I was coming up with than the earlier one. Let me show you the other one. So you have different ways you could do it. This one folds up on the booklet. The only thing is when you do copy paper, sometimes the paper's so flimsy, you know? 
gets all messed up. I'll have to reprint that. This little piece of ephemera here. Put it that way. You can't see it though. I guess we'll go this way. That's why I had it this way, probably. A little postcard. So yeah, you have two different ways that you can do your little booklet. I hope you were inspired in some type of way and that if you love pink Christmas, you'll go check out the um, digital on Etsy. I'll have all the information below. Thank you guys so much for stopping by my channel and visiting me today. And I'll be back with another video very soon. Bye, everyone.